So now we're going to set up a simple blueprint here just to give you some introductory information about blueprint, kind of how it works. We're going to set it up so that we can make use of these physics bodies that we set up in a more interactive way. We'll go back to my map and inside of my folder I'm going to right click and choose blueprint class. I'm going to make this an actor blueprint and I'll call it dot bp. If I double click on this it will open our blueprint editor. We're going to start working here by adding some components. The first component I'm going to add is a scene component Oops, I added a scene component 2D. I want just a scene component. There we go. And then we're going to add a skeletal mesh component. And this is where we can drop our dot skeletal mesh. So we'll go back to our maps. I'll choose the dot skeletal mesh and we'll go ahead and drop that in here in the skeletal mesh slot I'll just go ahead and compile it and save for now and I can drop the the dot blueprint in here this was my testing dot so we can see it, what we're getting. I think I'm gonna drop another one right here by the steps. I'm also going to scale this up. So with the skeletal mesh selected, I can scale it either with the widgets or I can set the scale here. I like to hit the lock if I'm global scaling and then We'll scale it by, say, two. So just so it's something that's a decent size that we can kind of mess around with. All right, so let's do some scripting. So we'll go to the event graph. I'm not gonna be doing anything in overlap or tick. I'm gonna get my skeletal mesh. And on begin play, I'm gonna type in simulate, set simulate physics. We'll set that to true. And then I'm going to drag off of the skeletal mesh node. So this uh, this is basically just a reference of this component. So I can even click and drag that in here if I want to. And I'll choose add impulse. So right now everything's set to zero. I'm just going to hit compile and save and then come in here and show you what we've got so far. So I did set simulate physics to true. You can also do that under the skeletal mesh component under physics. Right here you can just tick that on. But if you want to in your your nodes and your flow here, you can toggle it on and off as you wish, which is kind of nice. So it's nice to know this exists. So if we come in here and I'm, just, I'm going to choose uh, simulate for now. And I'm not getting any movement. And the reason why is because under my skeletal mesh,
there are a couple of things I need to do. So I'm going to drop my physics asset override in here. And the physics asset override slot. And then for collision presets, right now it's set to no collision. And I'm going to set it to physics actor. And now we'll go ahead and try to simulate. And you can see we get our dot. It drops, it follows gravity. And then we also get our physics body simulation. I think I'm going to go ahead and drop I'm going to adjust these back to their original settings. I think I might dial up the opacity a little bit though. Okay, so I just made them red jello instead of green jello. There we are. So if I come in here and play in the selected viewport, You can see I can interact with this. So that's kind of fun. Let's continue scripting. So for the add impulse, I'm going to give it an impulse. Let's try 5,000 in the Z. And that should make it fly up. Sure didn't. Let's try 15,000. I'm going to try one more value here. <laughs> there we go. So you can see they fly up super high. We've got some nice bounce. I don't want to. I don't want to make them too bouncy because I don't think I don't think Jello is a super bouncy material. But I think I could dial that back now. That was kind of hot. Well, yeah. That's decent. And we have some nice secondary jiggle. We have that main sort of hinge in the middle. And then the ones that were on the perimeter, the upper and lower, bodies, you know, give it that nice secondary look. Now, these things are still simulating and it may be a good idea to put them to sleep after a few seconds. So I'm going to drop a delay in here. And all I do is right click and then you can type whatever you want in here and get it. So I'll grab my skeletal mesh reference again and I could just do set simulate physics to false. So let's let's give it four seconds. Oops, that's not long enough. Let's try 
10 seconds. All right, so now that we've got that done, what I would like to do is fire these out of something uh, just to create an interesting effect. So uh, we'll do that in the next video tutorial.